Okay, thanks for tuning in for our first Essential RC Driving Sim video. Uh, the whole new setup we've bolted together the last few days. So basically, uh, the, this is an Intel i9 based uh, desktop PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, the top spec graphics card they do, a 28 in 2080 Ti, a 32 gigs RAM expandable 64, um, running off an SSD with a six terabyte um, HDD, of PCI, um, uh, got a 34 inch Dell uh, Alienware widescreen. Uh, the uh, steering wheel pedals and shifter are from Fanatec. Uh, excellent, excellent stuff. Um, and I'm wearing the Oculus Rift VR goggles, so it's as if I'm actually sitting in the cockpit of this 2017 Ferrari that was driven by uh, Vettel. You, uh, back in 2017 so uh, let's um, let's get to it let's just make sure this is working looks like we're good all right so uh, I'm wearing gloves as well all the um, the pro sim racing drivers wear gloves because these um these steering wheels can chew up your hands a little bit get blisters just like when you play tennis a lot um you can you can get blisters which isn't particularly pleasant so it's a good idea to wear those so uh, here we go So I mentioned I'm at Spa, my favourite track. Go! So down the hill, amongst the back markers, so let's uh, go easy on the first lap. Tactor draft, get the toe, pick the braking point, down to second. Tyres are a little bit cold, so it's a little bit squirrely. Really can feel when the back steps out. So we're in the back of the circuit now, got a small lift around here. Now it's the first around the chicane. And we're back in contact with the back markers again. See if we can make some places up on the uh, straight. Good drive out of there. Come on. Oh, I hit the wall. In the toe. Switch. Bye. <laughs> oh, 
and took my eye off the road. <laughs> That's the problem with you look in the mirrors. Now I've got crap on the tyres. That's all it takes, a momentary lapse of concentration. I just love the detail in the mirrors. Alright, tyres are clean again now. There's a lesson, don't look in the mirrors for too long. Oh, I did it again? Come on. Less talking, more driving. You learn as you go around which curbs you can take more of. Small lift. First. Doing it some late breaking into this uh, chicane and catch them up. Could have braked later there. Oh, it stepped out again. And again, it's sliding around. Ah. Now I've got someone on my back. Flat out now. Yes. flat out that time. I think we're on our last lap now. Could have even braked a little bit later. Oh, he stepped out again. So much power in this one. Just wants to step out every time you squirt the throttle.
and over the line. So that was fairly disastrous, I think, in terms of a result. Where did I come? <laughs> Second from last, probably. Third from last. Oh, we didn't come last. There you go. Uh, no, we're at Spa, actually, not Monza. Uh, I think I need to need to play with the uh, the setup of, of the car, maybe uh, a little bit. I'll have to research how you do that. So that's um, that's F1 in Assetto Corsa. So um, just amazing graphics, I, I think, on this thing. So how do I get out of this? I do this down here. I could actually do, um, should we do a replay really quickly? Let's see if I can get this working. This is a bug in this, I think you can't start the replay, so it might be this. Never mind, that's a shame. Right, so let's try another race. So let's um, let's have a look at cars. So a wide array of cars that you can choose from um, from Monday F1 road cars, hyper and supercars, all the way through to a kind of a retro, um, you know, 1950s uh, style cars. So what should we do? Let's uh, yeah, let's do one of these. How about let's just have a look at all the cars. See if we can spot anything. So you can see we've got Lamborghinis, uh, Ford Mustang, Ford GT40, so I'm thinking we should try something a bit retro, so we'll uh -huh. I love the look of that. Maserati, 12 cylinder. <laughs> Basically, a bathtub filled with fuel. I think we should uh, try that track. Let's get rid of that. Now, um, Silverstone 1967, historic circuit of Silverstone back, back then. Let's try that. Let's pick our opponents. Oh, so it's only going to allow me to add Maseratis. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Mm. Here we go. This is a bit better. Add these. We can have up to 19 other opponents, that's fine. I'll put the strength down this time so I stand actually a chance. <laughs> Who wouldn't do the same thing? <laughs> when you're this new to a game, it's no fun if they <laughs> all go off into the distance. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I actually did this yesterday, and this was even more immersive than the F1. Particularly when you're seeing the the, uh, the other cars, and you can see the drivers really clearly, because they're in an open cockpit. Okay. 
it should be good to race. <laughs> Look at this. I love this. Ah. Well set. My mouse. Right, let's go. Look at this guy. So that's a, a Ferrari with his cross ply tyres and look at the size of that engine. <laughs> right, here we go. This is going to be challenging. And my wooden steering wheel. Whoa. I'm not going to look in the mirrors this time. And I don't know the track, so I'm... Oh, on the grass. <laughs> on the grass already. I like braked from half a mile away. Oh, no. This is it. <laughs> so much easier if you're following. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to restart. Because uh, I literally it's so much easier if you can see other cars and when they're braking. Right, so I'm going to take it a bit easier this time. Can't do this in the real world. <laughs> If I don't do well this time, I'm going to just change car. Because there, look, some other cars in front of me that have got immensely fat tyres and have a much... So I'm basically power sliding. Oh, look, they're, they're romping off into the distance. <laughs> well, we'll just do one lap and then I'm going to change to uh, like a Lotus or something like that. So you go slow in and basically slide out as far as I can see. Or you go onto the, wow, I thought I was going into the grass that time. Right, okay, I think we'll change over. That's just not going very well, is it? Let's change. <laughs> I want a, a semi-competitive car, that would be nice. So let's do this. Floaty is, <laughs> it's like a, a bath on air. Ridiculous. How, people, how did drivers drive something like that? Fangio and drivers like that. I mean, the skill involved. Oh, I thought there would be something appropriate there, but not. Okay, so let's put all. I know the type of thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for like this, a Lotus. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Everything else should be the same. Oh, Jim Clark, recognise that name. Famous British driver. Uh, right. Still got all our opponents. Oh, weird. Oh. Why 
see. Oh, okay. Let's do. Oh no no, we still got these two in here, so we should be okay. I'm gonna try. All right, just need to change your view back. Well, the tyres look a little bit wider, don't they? So it's got to be a bit grippier, surely. Oh, yeah. Is my mate, number 18. We're away. Ah, already I feel like we have more power and more grip. I'm getting knocked ab about a little bit. I don't look in the mirrors. Whoa. You get spits of flame from the back of these uh, big engines in these classic races. Now we're getting somewhere. Come on, power up a gear. I don't know what gear we're in. Whoa, carving my way through now. Sideways, well, I'm liking that. I can power out of it. Right on the apex. <laughs> Late break on that one. Oh, I want to look in the mirrors. If I look in the mirrors, I'm on the grass. Oh, <laughs> you think you're going in the grass, and as long as you get it pointing the right way, that you can uh, put your foot down and just. Power out of it, amazing. Come on, let's get on the back of this group. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, so flick it in, power out. Oh, it's so good. Get on the grass. <laughs> I'm getting a bit carried away now. <laughs> this will look good on the replay. Well, I think we're closing. Oh, nice. 
One foot on the grass. Try and do as much of my braking in a straight line before I turn in. Still got that Ferrari chewing my ass. You know, it might not be a Ferrari. Come on. Nice. Oh, step out. Bit of toe. of cars behind me. I need to sit higher in the cockpit really so I can see over that little windscreen. Take this guy. As long as I get on the inside of him he's got nowhere to go. Love that corner. Drift. Ah, oh, race over. Oh, <laughs> it's rough on my arms. When I come sixth from the back all the way to sixth. Oh, oh, God, that was fun. Oh, my word. Old school F1, that's right. Thanks very much, NK. Yeah, that, that was fun. You just, even braking, it's something, you don't break into the corner, you just flick it around and you're sideways and uh, break like that. That was a lot of fun. Butt clenching, butt, butt clenching, yeah. Whew. Good stuff. All right, let's um, see if I can get the replay working this time. I did have it working earlier. Where's my mouse gone? So I think that's kind of paused, isn't it? Oh yeah, keep on going. There I am at the back. This enables me to uh, rest for a moment before my third and final race. It was more fun than the uh, the F1. These cars were not safe, were they? I mean, 
drivers were really risking their lives when they were driving these monsters. No crash, modern crash protection. No halo, no nothing like that. You. <clears throat> I'm sure Hamilton and uh, some of those modern day drive today's drivers have tried out these cars. They must have done. They must get that opportunity to do that. Because who else would? No one else would be trusted to get in the relics like these. Because they're worth, they must be worth millions now. Can't be very many of them left. They're all museum. They should all be in museums, shouldn't they? True, you know what I should have done? I should have been using the shifter. But like, so using the shifter, you've only got one hand on the wheel. Crazy. Oh, look at that! Very sideways most of the time. So nice on these old cars. You can see everything's outside the car. You get the, you know, the engine, the drive shafts, the suspension, arms. You can. You, oh! oh, oh, oh. oh, that's where I hit the uh, the wall on the inside. That wasn't good. Definitely would have been. Uh, a DNF. I was definitely getting it more, uh, what's the word, enthusiastic with my cornering. Oh, did they? Is that true? What, um, Le Mans? You know, I must get that. I haven't watched it in so many years. I probably watched it when I was like 20 years ago. I would love to watch that again. I can tell you what, I enjoy some of the old films with McQueen and the lot. Um, and those actors of that generation more than modern day films. They're a little bit slower in pace, but still brilliant acting. <clears throat> okay, cheers NK. Have a good day yourself, buddy. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna watch this through to the end. My arms are, I only did four laps <laughs> and my arms were killing me. I think because I'm literally gripping for my life. Um, so these guys must be fit, must they? The, uh, the upper body strength to be res wrestling with this, uh, this monster with all its, uh, I mean, its power. How much power do these things have? Must have had five, 600 brakes or brake horsepower. And it was all engine and not a lot else, wasn't it? It's basically a, a bathtub filled with fuel and a massive v V12 on at the back. Whoa, way off the back.
Oh, that must be the last lap, I'm guessing. Hmm. So I'm thinking a, um, a hypercar race next. Maybe uh, an exotic Lamborghini of some description. So we've done F Monday F1, retro, classic F1 of its day. So let's do, um, oh, there we go, we're back in the pits. Fantastic. I survived. That's something. Right, so let's get back. Where's my mouse pointer gone? There it is. Navigating menus in VR is a bit of a, a bit of an art. Okay, so this time we'll do another quick race. It's just quicker that way. Um, I said Lamborghini, didn't I? So we've got some nice Lamborghinis. Hurricane saw, uh, went to uh, Bewley supercar event a few months ago. And I've never seen so many uh, hypercars in one place, but you know, we're talking, uh, there was a guy there with, I think it was, it was it was green, but it was a hurricane, and it was like 160, or did he say 180,000 pounds? He paid for it. It's just could could you imagine spending that amount on a car? A Ventador, Sesto Elemento. I mean, these are all road-going cars, aren't they? With the except the Mura, the old classic Mura, but the Sesto Elemento, you can't even use it on the road. I saw that on Top, top Gear. Um, just for the track. So I think how wealthy you would have to be. I'm going to do Spa because, again, because I know Spa. Um, and let's go with, let's take the classic retro cars out and let's add all of these in because they're within the same group. Go to our summary. Uh, yeah, that mm, looks good. Let's race. Here we go. In our Sesto, Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Are we ready? I like red, my favorite color. Oh, that sounds nasty. Go. Watch the brakes. Notice some of these cars have dynamic, aerodynamics. That's another Sesto Elemento in front of us. Is it the Paganis? Do they have that um, adaptive aerodynamics? Dynamic aerodynamics? Oh, I'm a bit off-road, no problem. See if I can go through the gap. No, he's gone for it. Ah, oh, cheeky. Oh, through the middle. Yeah, it's definitely that Zonda in front with its dynamic aerodynamics. Love that. Oh, both of them have it.
I don't really want to crash into a hypercar and get a big bill. Right, tyres warmed up. Let's uh, just have to feather the throttle. Try and stay on the track. Whoa! Is that an Aventador on our left? Another Lambo Sesto Elemento in front of us. My bad. My bad. Give him the place back. Technically, that was cheating, I think. But never mind. Breaking a little excessively. Concentrate, see if we can get on the back of this pack in front. Third, these are the <laughs> I can't get that right. <laughs> You have to do that slow. It's like in the F1 car, it's flat out. I really love the spit of 
blue flame that comes out of the back of that one. That's a McLaren if I... Is that a McLaren? I really should. Let him get too far away. Let's concentrate on making sure I hit the apexes. Drift out and just catch a little curb. Oh, not very good. Right, okay, here we go. Oh no! Fifth. I misread that earlier. I think it's pretty unlikely I'm going to get on into the top three. Oh, cheeky. But I uh, actually did that corner properly this time because I slowed down. So you're going to outbreak me, that's the only problem. Stamping on the brake! Oh, I outbreak myself. No! <laughs> All that work to get past him. We'll get him on the straight. Obviously, I'm not as good handling. But I've got better straight line speed, so... I just hang on. Now, here we can reel him in now. I hadn't have touched the grass. Hmm, maybe not. No, and I didn't do too well there either, did I? Oh dear, screwed up the last corner. Never mind. Just proves how much you have to concentrate. Fourth. Not bad. I was only a few seconds behind.
I think it'd be a few, few million if you had to total up of the uh, the total cost of all the uh, the hypercars in that race. Mad money. Right, but I think that's it. Call it a day. Um, so that was a lot of fun. It's a fantastic simulator, and the combination of, of that with the with the VR makes it absolutely fantastic and a lot of fun to drive. So thanks for watching this one. We'll be doing uh, a few more live streams and. Uh, um, sharing some of these uh, videos on, on the channel. You might want to subscribe to the channel, follow us for this, follow us for the RC stuff, covering reviews and flight tests of products, or, or the show videos that we do as well, that we capture during, during the, the uh, spring and summer months. But thanks for watching this one. See you next time.